What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Corpse Party. In the last episode we actually started to explore, we almost got trapped in a room because we got really curious and decided to read a newspaper that we were advised not to read, but now, now we hear these, these weird sounds, these like flies and we want to figure out what's what's going on. What's going on Seiko, let's uh, let's find out. Can we go up here? Um, it looks like we need a plank to get up there, but let's see what's going on. Ooh. It's got all dark, and that, no, that, that doesn't look so hot. What, what is, are you kidding me? Is that... Oh god, what the heck is this? It's horrifying. Yikes, it's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. Yikes. Not, uh, and just splattered everywhere. Yikes, it's, it's just so grotesque to even like imagine or like picture that. Oh, it smells so meaty. Oh, that's not how I would want to describe that, Seiko. Stop describing it like meaty. Uh -uh. Yeah, I feel you now, me. My, my stomach would be a little sick as well. <laughs> Sorry, are you, are you okay, Nami? I mean, I guess in this situation, I would feel like a little sick knowing there's probably a person, they're like splattered and everything. I generally have a pretty solid, like, iron stomach when it comes to, like, gore and the like. Um, I, for those of you that don't know, I actually intend to become a surgeon, potentially, so. I'm I'm fine. <laughs> Let's just get away from here. Yeah, I, I agree with you there. Okay. Yeah, don't... I don't blame you for not wanting to stick around the, I don't know, remains of someone splatter all over the wall, flies, it can't smell that great. Apparently it smells pretty meaty, according to Seiko. What's in here? The infirmary, the door is locked. Okay, good to know. Well, uh, we'll just keep on exploring because that's what we do. Ooh, there's a loose board lying on the ground here. Take it with us? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take it with us. We have acquired the loose board. Okay, shall we further explore down this way, see what we can find? I know that we got the loose board and we can use it um, in that place we saw earlier in the episode, but let's just, you know, explore. Curiosity kill of the Midnight Zero, right? There are several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Bye, Koito. I'm in classroom 5A. Everybody's fine. Use the hog. Come join us, Asuka. Shout out to Asuka and PBK Euphonium, great character. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Yikes. Yikes, how, how tall are these floors? Most school floors, maybe, what, 10 feet? Probably like three, four meters tops? I don't know if that's like a death. death that's definitely not a death. Right, but upon closer inspection, there is a student ID name uh, name tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Yay for collectibles! Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1 2, Yuzuha Mikami. Okay. So. You will be remembered, assuming, assuming we get out of here. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? Hmm, it hurts. It hurts so much. That's, uh, that sucks. Looks like there really have been a lot of different people brought here. <laughs> It'll work out for us though, I'm sure of it. <laughs> it didn't work out for anybody else, but us? Yeah, it's definitely gonna work this time. So optimistic, so unrealistic, Seiko. <laughs> She's like laughing. She's like, I'm trying to convince myself too. That happens a lot. I always, um, I guess I can't say like I always find myself doing it, but there are a lot of situations where you're trying to reinforce and or like encourage someone, and you just end up saying what you also want to hear, right? Uh, saying something to support someone else while simultaneously trying to shed your own fears. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who have died here.
Many victims have left their thoughts, or even their dying messages, on the scraps of paper that litter these walls. It hurts. It hurts so much. And I guess a little Japanese lesson, uh, this ghost used the word kurushi, which isn't just like the typical it hurts or like painful, which is usually itai, um, but kurushi is like suffering um, kind of pain. So it's like next level. Okay, so we go right, left, right. Let, let, let's go Let's go to the right first to see what we can find. Oh, we got an open classroom. That worked out really well last time. We're gonna, we're gonna walk in this room with our guard up. Ooh. There's a shiny thing over there. I want that shiny thing. I don't listen to this music. Listen to how unsettling that is. Let's go to this more uh, upbeat. Explore music. Music. Why you no change for us? Okay. And now, hey, hey, get back over here. So it's like teleporting between the two across the gap. This is not good. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull are still sitting in the chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. What? Big hole in her skull. Yikes. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1 2, Asuka Kato. Oh, these are the girls that we've been reading about. There was Mikami, um, who's one of the girls, and then Asuka. Aw, oh, man. And then, is this another person? A crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. Betrayal, doubt, despair. Oh, there's a ghost. Ghosty ghost. What's going on? Someone else's thoughts echo in your head. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location. Find the exact spot where it once stood and examine it thoroughly. Yo, we're we gonna we're we gonna have to do some nice co-op, some teamwork. Speaking of co-op, I haven't. When we come in the back, it jumps to the front. So, how about one of us waits for it over there? What an idea! Uh, but speaking of co-op, I haven't played a good co-op game in a long time. My favorite co-op game of all time is Gauntlet Dark Legacy, and I really, I miss couch co-op games more so than anything else, but... Okay, uh, where was it again? I think it was like right here? Is this the spot where we saw that weird glowy thing? Um, exactly, I think so. Okay. It was definitely here. I think. <laughs> um, Alright, I don't, I don't like splitting up. In these sorts of games, these horror games, whenever somebody splits up, it's it's bad news. So I'm not not a big fan of splitting up, but for the, for the sake of the shiny thing, let's do it. <laughs> it sounded like it took so much effort on her part. <laughs> gotcha! Naomi, I got it! <laughs> you did? Nice job! <laughs> Turned out to be this. Okay, so we got the infirmary key. Oh, so that was the, that was the locked door that we ran into earlier, so... <laughs> Goes to show you what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> we make a great team! The dynamic duo Seiko and Naomi. All right, now let's let's get back to this uh this exciting music. I love the music in the hallway as you explore an adventure. Can we get back to it though? Music. Why you know? Why you know? Return. What's over here? The custodian's closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of a TV static coming from within. Yo, TV static. That is spooky stuff. Dark rooms with just TV static. I don't know why, but that gets to me so much. Um, one of my biggest fears. One of my weirdest fears, one of the weirdest fears, is DVD menus that loop. I get anxiety, like panicky, if I'm alone in the dark and I'm watching a TV that has a DVD menu that is looping every like 20 to 30 seconds. And depending on the DVD menu, how it loops, the music, etc., it can freak me out even more. And I discovered it probably like 10 years ago or so, but it's still, it's still very much a thing to this day. Regardless, there's a partially bleached skeleton sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag this time. Aww. Based on the gore-soaked remains of the uniform and the length of the hair scattered around the head, it's safe to say this was a female student. Okay. What are your guys' fears? Um, in general, I, I have that really weird DVD menu fear, uh, which I doubt you'll ever hear again. Um, and I'm a little bit afraid of heights. Uh, those are my main, main fears, I would say. Um, yeah, so what are your guys' fears? Let me know in the comments. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. 
I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankle have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. Please, don't give up. I want you to keep living, for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far, and the hope that you can use this information to help keep yourself safe. Okay, so these are cool. Um, we might have some, uh, what's it called? Some notes to help us guide, help guide us along. Okay, so it looks like we've covered everything that we can over here. Let's head to the left then. Um, let's see what we can find. We still have a loose board we can use. Oh, there's the music. Ooh. Just like that, it dies out. Classroom 4A, the door seems attached to the wall like a sculpture, it won't budge in the slightest. Okay, what about what about this door? The basement, ooh, ooh. basements and horror games. You never want to end up in the basement in a horror game. The door is nailed shut, it definitely won't be open anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagi Hori. Okay. All right, well, I guess, I mean, we don't really have a choice right now. We have a key to the infirmary, but that's about it. My head is splitting, it's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. When we found Yuzaha's body, I saw a black shadow. Ooh, ooh, I don't know how I feel about these black shadows. But I didn't tell anyone about it, and now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. The lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. Yikes, I wonder how this guy passed... There are skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be a middle schooler. Yikes, looking closely, you can see a student ID name tag. Seisei Academy for Girls, Class 1 to Koito Fujiwara. Yikes. Koito, who was so optimistic in the beginning. Like our, uh, like our good friend Seiko. Okay, so now... There are a couple things we can do, right? We have this um, loose board and we have an infirmary key, so there's a decent amount of exploring we can do. Um, I think because we get the loose board first, I think it's intended that we go and use that first, more so than um, more so than the infirmary key. So we'll be back. We'll be back for the infirmary key, and we'll check that out, of course. Of course, yikes! Don't wanna don't wanna worry about that for now. Um, let's just head on up and continue our exploration. Little adventures that we are. Place the loose board. Yes, we're gonna try it and see what we can find. Yo, yo, yo! I don't like that. Yo, ghost, you need to you need to find someone else to follow. That's this is not your territory. What's going on over here? A pile of haphazardly strewn or strewn, yeah, strewn, 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 strewn. I think. Um, human bones is heaped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen jutting out from one side. Says the Academy for Girls, Sasha Shinonome. Mmm, sad faces. There's a crumpled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's lifeless hand. God will surely save me. Mm. The hope was there. The hope was there. Okay, so what, what does this say? Lavatories. Boys room to the left and girls room at the end of the hall. Oh, the first time I read this, I thought it meant like boys room was on the left and girls room was on the right. But no, boys room is like immediately to the left and the girls room is all the way at the end of the hall. So like to the way, way left. Naturally, um, as girls, we're going to go into the boys bathroom and see what we can find. Um, the drain is completely stopped up with the long strands of black hair and the basin is filled with dirty water. Okay, what about this one? Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. Yikes. Not sure I'd want, I'd even trust the water here. Um, okay, what about, what about the urinal? The smell of ammonia is almost staggering here. Yikes. The smell of ammonia is almost staggering. Okay, stalls. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I love that so much. <laughs> what the what, what what the heck was that? That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. And I really don't know which is more likely. <laughs> so yeah, I love that. <laughs> that you're just like exploring, exploring, and all of a sudden this like huge voice is like, SHUT THE DOOR! <laughs> so funny. Okay, what's in uh, this bucket? There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rest of the bucket, completely crawling with maggots. Yikes! Would not, would not want to stick my hands in there, that's for sure. Wouldn't want to know what would lead to that sort of a mess, <clears throat> but okay. The faucet makes an unpleasant sound of clanging pipes. Yikes, when the handle is turned but no water comes out. 
Uh, the drain is completely stopped up. Okay, we saw that. Even turning. Okay, cool. And then there are more stalls. Makes sense in the girls' bathroom. Um, replace the two urinals with stalls. Are we gonna are we gonna find someone who doesn't <laughs> wants us to shut the door? It won't open. Yikes. The fourth one won't open. But all the rest of them will. I wonder. I wonder what's behind there. Okay, so I'd say we've uh, safely explored. Naomi. Oh man, the way she says that, the way she's blushing. Oh, what's going on, Seiko? Hey, hey Naomi. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do you have any of that that butt medicine on you by any chance? You know the smeary stuff, Seiko. What is going on? What? Again? This is this has happened before, Naomi? <laughs> <laughs> yep, my butt's been drier in a desert since we got here. <laughs> and you can just like casually bring this up with a friend. <laughs> well, I've got some antibacterial cream if that'll help. <laughs> Thanks, I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. <laughs> this line is one of Corpse Party's treasures. This is one of Corpse Party's gems right here. The phrase, butter up my pooper, and Seiko just being Seiko. So great, so funny, so Seiko. To just out of nowhere start talking with her friend, Naomi, about how dry her butt has been. And then not only that, ask for cream from Naomi to borrow to butter up her pooper and say it in that way. It's just so funny. It's so Seiko. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then to be all cute and super happy about it. Yay! <laughs> I, I feel you, Nami. Do you have any shame at all? Okay. Um, so in the meantime, uh, I don't know. I guess we can... We could, like, go somewhere. I, I, we can just go in there and see what, what's going on with her. Seiko! Where are you? Seiko. 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 Seiko! Seiko! Hmm? Wait, wait, what? Uh, yeah. Hmm? Uh, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're here. But, uh... She's in the fourth one. The, the fourth one was, was locked. Interesting. Okay... Um... You can check on her again. Shouldn't take that long to, uh, butter up your pooper. <laughs> Seiko's all about taking care of that booty. I shouldn't keep bothering her while she's occupied. Okay then. Well, I, I get the hint, game. I get the hint. I'll take the hint. So now... Do we just... Do we wait over here? I don't need to translate that one. You guys know what Onichan means. <laughs> Was that... Yuka? Yikes. That doesn't sound so good. Seiko, did you hear that? Seiko, I uh, I, I need to make sure I'm not going insane yet. Seiko? Seiko? Mm? <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, nothing, just checking to make sure you're here. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Do you realize she's like, put her there. That's like a high five. Who would want to high five someone who just borrowed your medicine to butter up their pooper? Like, <laughs> uh, no problem. Hey, wait. Was that stall open? Hmm? <laughs> I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Fine, I guess I'll let you off the hook. We have bigger things to worry about, after all. I... I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Right. Okay, so that's our new mission. So now we gotta find Yuka, who apparently called out for us, potentially. We'll see. 
and that ghost. Where's that ghost? Oh, wait. H hold up. Naomi, what's going on? Naomi, mm, Naomi are you okay? That was a close one. My leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad I didn't fall in. Seems like you sprained your ankle really badly, though. We should find you some place to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Here, lean on my shoulder for the time being. Duh. We all need a Seiko to lean. <laughs> Thanks, I owe you one Seiko. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Okay, so we gotta find a place for Nami to rest. Naturally, that leaves the infirmary. Um, for those that don't know, an infirmary is a place where you would go to like rest. Kind of like the school nurse or something like that. And yikes. Oh god! I I think I stepped in it. I uh what's it called? I just learned the kanji for Fumu. So I just did a, just did a little air tracing, air writing of it. <laughs> Ew, you did? Here, I've I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. Oh, this is such a gross situation. Seiko, you need to wash your hands. Oh, these these are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just plopped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. Yikes. I don't know. That's probably probably not a great situation. Not, definitely not a great situation to be in. <laughs> Oh god, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. Oh man. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah, not not a great situation. Let's, let's just find this place to rest. You've uh you've gotta rest now. Infirmary. You got a key, might as well. You use the infirmary key and the door is now unlocked. Yo. This music though. This music though, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. What's going on in here? There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves, both its blades covered liberally in blood. Yikes. Vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. Okay, what's this? Wash your hands with soap, yes! Seiken de te orainasai. Or is it ara? Yeah, ara ara. So wash your hands with soap. Definitely wash your hands with soap. Actually, it's better to not wash your hands at all rather than wash with just water because bacteria spread more um, effectively in water and the soap would kill it. So if the soap's not there, you're just spreading germs more effectively by just rinsing with water. So wash your hands with soap, but if you're not going to, just don't even, don't even bother. Don't even waste the water. There's an old journal on the desk. What does it say? At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the page can't be turned. Huh, that's weird. Okay, what's this? There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Okay, looking closely, it seems as if somebody painted over each of the organs with actual blood. Huh, interesting. What's in, uh, what's in here? Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. What do they need all of these for? Yeah, no, what was going on in this room? This infirmary, this is not like a typical, this doesn't seem like your typical infirmary. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes up. How are we going to wash our hands? I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. Yeah, I guess if you're going to be in here for a while, how are you going to get like food and water and all that? It's an old fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it'll probably never light again. A box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them? Yeah, yeah, we'll take these matches. You never know when you're going to use them. I don't really recognize any of the art. I don't know if it's a reference to something or just a generic matchbox image, but if any of you guys know, be sure to let me know. I'd appreciate that. And now, because the game is giving us a candle, we should probably take up the opportunity to use this candle. So we're going to save, of course, in a new data slot because that's how YouTubing works. <laughs> um, and now, finally, you can rest. What? 
in the next episode. I hope you guys are excited to see what's going to happen in this infirmary, what's going to happen in the rest of this chapter. This, I'm not getting good vibes about this infirmary, but it's finally time for Naomi to rest, so maybe, maybe we're going to get a little bit of a little positive point, a little bit of fun, a little bit of cheeriness. Who knows? But I hope you guys are excited to see in the next episode. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>